Today we're celebrating Lori Holt's Great Granny Squared book and we're changing things up by turning the mama block into an applique circle block. It's always fun to take an existing project and turn it on its head and that's what we're going to be doing today. If you want to see what other bloggers are doing with her book, visit fatquartershop.com backslash great granny sew along. To make this project, you need Lori Holt's six inch circle ruler. You also need a background fabric and two Riley Blake modern mini 10 inch stackers. You also need Pellon light interfacing, a friction pin, or a full 50 weight, and a pair of scissors. Now let's get started. Our first step is to make a mama block from page 17 of the Great Granny Squared book. You're going to press all of your seams open, which makes it easier to applique later. Place the six inch circle ruler on the back and make sure the lines of the ruler intersect your seams. Draw a line around the circle ruler with your friction pin. Place your block right sides together with a pillon square pin in place and we're going to sew these together. Now we're going to trim our block. First we're going to trim a quarter inch away from the edge of your stitches. Now on the back, where the pellon is, you're going to make two snips, one this way, one this way. Turn it right sides out. Use the Dritz point turner to pull your points out and then we're going to press. Now to iron, I'm going to gently starch with the starch savvy and then I'm just going to press. And when you're pressing, it just kind of pushes everything to the edge and now you've got a perfect circle. Now we're going to take a seven and a half inch square. We're going to find the center by pressing, folding this in half and just finger press. There's your center. We're going to do the same thing with our circle. You're going to take your center, match it to the center of your square. Pin in place and now let's applique this down. Now we're going to applique this down with a small blanket stitch. I hope you loved learning Lori Holt's technique today and if you want to make the table runner just like hers, you're going to set three blocks by seven blocks and add a two inch finished border. Thanks for watching.